I was having a really hard time at work and I went to my HR at that time and what I was told to do is to go home and take a nap. That past experience shaped how James Nicholas Kinney now copes with anxiety. The first thing I do, wake up in the morning, I give thanks and then I meditate. An executive at the advertising company Ogilvy, Kinney has been open about his challenges. How important is it to have someone in your role be able to talk about the importance of mental health and mental well-being? Workplaces tend to reward overworking and uh, the strength of being tough. Uh, but now we know sharing your experience with mental health, that's actually what we consider now to be tough, right? So it's okay to not be okay. Overworked and overwhelmed, burnout is one of the leading mental health issues among workers today, experts say. Burnout is someone who wants to do a good job, is capable of doing a good job, but there's a system that prevents them from doing it, and then they get exhausted. Then they give up. A recent survey of 1,000 full-time workers found 89% said they'd experienced burnout over the past year, and 70% said they would leave their current job for another, offering better resources to reduce feelings of burnout. Workers also may not be aware or don't understand how to use benefits their employer provides. What is the issue with trying to access mental health programs when you're already feeling burnt out? When people feel overwhelmed, they just don't know how to, how to take that first step forward. But it's really worthwhile to put the energy in and figure out how the programs can support you. Slow down our breathing. Kinney, who shares his experience in his podcast, says it is also important for employers to have a holistic approach to wellness. We tell people on your first day at work that mental health and your mental well-being is part of what we consider this, this journey, right? So we don't make it something that's separate. Having top leaders speak openly about mental health may help change the culture, but experts say organizations also have to do a better job explaining workplace benefits and programs that are available, which could include meditation apps or resilience and stress management sessions, as well as traditional psychotherapy. Shep?